Well, good morning again. Uh, this is Sharon. I just wanted to give you additional information. According to the federal statute, this is an act. It is the ID Act of 2005. I should be protected. But apparently, I, from what I'm gathering, from what I've been absorbing so much information from when I'm in the public, is that their IDs, their fraudulent IDs or copies or whatever duplicates they have, has legitimately expired when I change my name. So everything is being compromised. There was someone I heard had went in and got duplicate keys to my PO uh, box so that they can steal my mail and take copies of it so this person can go to court as is. They don't want me to have the identity that I possess by the federal government that was given to my mother and then she's given it to me. I'm supposed to be protected by law. I'm hearing that they're having protests over my ID, which is against the law, and that there's a secret sanction against me in order to isolate me off my ID. This is very scary at this point. I'm, they want to they wanna force me, there's people here, mostly men want to force me at the hotel into prostitution. I don't interact with them. And I guess it's just this ego thing or macho thing or there's just, just no rights for women whatsoever. I'm not here because of pleasure. I'm here because of what they have done to my ID. So I'm hoping you will understand what exactly is going on here. I have been engulfed with and inf much information and to facilitate a motivation of some type of prejudice or territorial I'm not in a gang, I have no tattoos on me I'm ill, I'm, I'm literally ill some days I'm up, some days I'm down I don't even sleep well so the times that they claim that I did something I most, most likely be online and I'm sure the service provider will have the time and date that I'm offline. Usually I'm up all night online working on my website or doing research regarding my website. So everyone has their own agenda and what motivates is their greed. And all I'm trying to do is survive. So it is unnerving and unsettling that individuals or groups collaborate with effort to are motivated are motivated to cause harm defamation they're spreading rumors that are not even true I can't even go to the store without someone standing next, next to me whispering you can you can watch look at the YouTube yourself. Or they licking their tongue like this, like I'm, you know, whatever that's supposed to mean. I'm tongue or something, some derogatory term. I wish they step in my shoes and see what it's like to be when someone has exploited you to the point where they're talking about physical harm when it isn't true. It's propaganda. Disguised as a truth or power of persuasion is a fancy word linguistically to disguise a lie. That's all it is. Power of persuasion. So I hope you understand. I'm not here to take over somebody's territory. I'm so nervous I'm like this. Or they found out I can read and write and all hell is about to break loose because I went to a Catholic school, I went to a parochial school. And I I it's about pride here. You're you're of color and therefore you do not supposed to exist as who you are. So they feel they fail to realize this when they established the Board of Education throughout the United States, they all went parochial school. 
So they mom and pops or their grandparent most likely went to public school. All public schools are like that. I'm sorry. Maybe I was paying attention a little bit too much with this year.